welcome to all myself professor deshmukh mesh presenting the webinar uh, the theory lectures based on free vibrations now what is exactly the free vibrations so that we have to see in the case of the free vibrations there is no external force is required for the vibrations and it is called as what free vibrations so how it will be vibrate then so vibrations totally depends upon the initial moment that we are at the place to vibrate so initial moment gives vibration to the body that is called as what free vibrations now the problems we will see before the see the problems that you have to see the the what is the actual frequency of free transverse vibrations of the shaft subjected to the number of point loads now this is the example sphere we have seen that just like the thickly supported beam okay at the different point we have seen that there are the different forces are acting and under that conditions we have to measure the natural frequency now the what is the transverse vibrations the vibrations is due to the particular force or the moment when the vibrations occur perpendicular to the long tunnel vibrations or the transverse vibrations that is called as what transverse vibrations now in the figure i already seen that that is the w that what should be the the existence of the forces so at the center that having the mass the force is much more greater than as compared to the two extreme points because of this there is a deflection in terms of the y1 y2 y3 and y4 respective of the forces w1 w2 w3 and w4 a and b these are the two extreme points now there is a one method that is drunkley methods to measure the natural frequency of particular shaft which carry the point load and uniformly distributed loads is obtained from the drunkley empirical empirical formula according to this 1 upon fn square is equal to f1 upon fn2 square fn1 square plus 1 upon fn2 bracket square plus 1 upon fn3 bracket square then again same it is up to the infinity 1 upon fn s square okay means what there is a reciprocal of this different frequency and there is square now this is a simply supported beam which carries the some load uniformly distributed load w1 w2 w3 wl is the particular unit load per length fn1 the frequency exists at the first point that is 0.49851 root delta 1 in terms of hertz fn2 is equal to 0.49851 root delta 2 square and fn s is equal to 0.5615 upon delta s square fn bracket square is equal to taking the all additions so we got that 1 upon fn bracket square is equal to 0.4985 bracket square under root the uh, n square bracket delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 up to up to mark plus delta s upon 1.2 27 therefore according to drunkley method empirical formula the natural frequency of the whole system we are taking the reciprocal of the 1 upon fn uh, n square so i am taking the under root of fn we got that the natural frequency is equal to 0.4985 under root of delta 1 delta 2 plus delta 3 plus up to the mark delta s upon 1.27 hertz now these are the problems based on this topic that is a shaft what is statement 
The shaft, 50 mm diameter and the 3 meters long, is simply supported at the ends, carries the three loads. That is 1,000 newton, comma 15,000 newton, 1,500 newton, and 750 newton at the 1 meter, at the 2 meter, and at the 2.5 meter length from the left support. The Young's modulus of the shaft is 200 giga newton per meter square. Find the natural frequency of the transverse vibration. Now, what is given data that you have to draw on the diagram? The total distance 3 meter of the particular shaft, 1 meter from left, we got the C point, I mean the 1000 Newton, then again 2.5 meter from the left, that is from A point, we got that 1500 Newton force is acting and 750 is at the distance 2.5 from the relief side A, we got the point E. So A, B, these are the two points, extreme points of simply supported beam. C and D, this is C, D, E, these are the intermediate points at the distance 1 meter, 2 meter, 2.5 meter from the respective A points. So I moment of inertia 1 upon 4, 64 pi upon 64 into d raised to 4 that is equal to pi upon 64 0 0.05 raised to 4 that is equal to 0 0.307 into 10 raised to minus 6 it raised to 4 so delta is equal to w a square b square upon 3 e i l so this is particular force the plexion now after putting all these value what we got here so delta static deflection due to the load 1000 newton Delta is equal to 1000 okay into 1 square into 2 square divided by the same things. So after putting all these values, we got the delta 1 is equal to 7.24 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Here A is equal to 1 meter and B is equal to twice meter. They are already given in the problem. Similar is static deflection due to the load 1500 Newton delta 2. Just putting all these values, only the W changes here, before that is 1000, here that is 1500. So we got the reflection 10.86 10 raised to minus 3 meter, here again A is equal to 2 meter and B is equal to 1 meter, that's the variations. As a static deflection due to the third force that is 750 Newton, delta 3 is equal to 750 10 to 2.5 square into 0 0.5 square divided by 3 into 200 into 10 to 9 into 3 0 0.307 10 to minus 6 into L. Putting all these values where the A is equal to 2.5 and B is equal to 0 0.5 under this condition we have got 2.12 10 to minus 3 meter. Now we know that the frequency of transverse vibrations Fn is equal to 0 0.4985 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. So 0 0.4985 divided by 0 0.1422 3.5 hertz. So this is all about the problem based on this topic. So thank you to all to see its videos quite easier one and which is having the different formulations before going to any particular problem you have to consider the the formulations required that is Dunkley method formulations just put all these values different loads acting on it W L L delta F N zero point four nine eight five okay delta one delta two delta three that we are got from this particular values we have seen this formula formulations is required and formulations is we have to remember these formulations so this is all about your the these formulations 
थैंक यू टू ऑल